For this question, we want to solve the exponential equation. 8 times 2 minus 10 to the 4x minus 3 equals 9. So the directions do say that this is an exponential equation, but we would know it's an exponential equation anyway because the variable is in the exponent. So when we solve exponential equations, we have three methods that um, we can rely on. We can rely on um, a method where we try to make the basis the same. So that would be b to the u equals b to the v. If we get it in that format, we can say that u equals v to solve. That's called relating the bases or using the one-to-one -one property. And then we have two other methods where um, one of which we have an exponential equation and we're going to convert it to a logarithmic equation. That would be log base b of x equals y. I've got that backwards. I apologize. It's log base b of y equals x. The log always equals the exponent. And then we have a third method where if we start with an exponential equation, we can take the log of both sides, natural log on the left and natural log on the right. So this method right here requires that the bases be the same. And these two methods you can use um, almost any time you have exponential equations. But what I want to point out to you guys is that all of these strategies for handling exponential equations have the exponential part isolated on one side of the equation. So in all of these cases, we need the exponential isolated on one side of the equation before we use the strategy. So in this example, our exponent is 4x minus 3, and 10 is the base of that exponent. So before we can start implementing these strategies, we want to isolate that portion of the exponential equation. So to do that, I need to get rid of this 8. This 8 is multiplied. And so I'm going to do the opposite, which is to divide. That's going to give 2 minus 10 to the 4x minus 3 equals 9 eighths. And I still need to isolate that exponential, so I need to get rid of this 2. So I'll subtract 2 on both sides. That gives negative 10 to the 4x minus 3. And I'm going to combine these together. So let's rewrite 2. 2 is 2 over 1. And I want a denominator of 8. So I'll multiply by 8 over 8 to get negative 16 over 8. We're going to leave 9 eighths the same. And now we can add those together. So a positive 9 and a negative 16 would be a negative 7 over 8. And I still want to isolate this exponential. I need to get rid of that negative. So I would divide by negative 1 on both sides. And I'll continue writing over here. We have 10 to the 4x minus 3 equals a positive 7 eighths. So we have isolated the exponential on one side of the equation. And now we can start to think of these strategies that we wrote down. Now when we look at the bases, I have a base of 10 and a base of 7 eighths. The first method of relating the bases requires us to have the same base on both sides. So we're not going to be able to use that method. Um, but we will be able to use one of these other two methods. So let's, um, let's give the second one a try, where we take the log of both sides. 
I'm going to do natural log on the left and natural log on the right. This is something that we're allowed to do because exponential and logarithmic functions are one to one. So once we do, once we take the log of both sides, we now have um, the log properties available to us. And one that we're going to use is called the power rule for logarithms. That allows us to take that power and make it the coefficient on the log. So we have 4x minus 3 multiplied by natural log 10 equals natural log of 7 eighths. I'll use the distributive property and I'll distribute this natural log of 10 to both terms inside the parentheses. That's 4x natural log 10 minus 3 natural log 10 equals natural log 7 eighths. And now I only have one x. I want to isolate that x. So I'll add 3 natural log 10 on both sides. That's 4x natural log 10 equals natural log 7 eighths plus 3 natural log 10. And now I can isolate that x by dividing by 4 natural log 10. So I'm left with x equals natural log 7 eighths plus 3 natural log 10 over 4 natural log 10. So let's practice typing this answer in our calculator. So here's our calculator. Let me clear these buttons so we have a fresh start. And I'm going to put parentheses around my whole numerator because there's multiple terms and we need um, to help the calculator know what order to do the operations in. So that big fraction bar is a natural grouping of the whole numerator. So we're going to put the grouping symbols around the numerator to make sure the calculator knows. So we have natural log of 7 eighths plus 3 natural log of 10. We need to close parentheses for the numerator. And we're going to divide. I'm going to put parentheses around the whole denominator. Once again, we need to do this to make sure that we're dividing by the whole denominator for natural log 10. If we don't put parentheses, the calculator will only divide by 4 and then multiply by 10. So we want to divide by 4 natural log of 10. We're going to close parentheses for that log and close parentheses for the denominator. And we get um, approximately 0.74 if we round to the nearest tenths. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.